for that reason, it's inevitable that you're going to have a large customer base of SAP that misses that 2027 deadline. Not all of them, maybe not even a majority of them, but a large subset of SAP customers will miss the deadline to migrate from ECC or R3 over to S4 HANA. Now, the reason for this is because many organizations just simply aren't in a position to go through a big implementation at the moment. Maybe they don't have the time, the budget, the resources, the risk tolerance, or whatever the case may be. And the other factor here is that even if they want to and they haven't started yet, it's going to take many organizations longer than 2027 to fully roll out S4 HANA and to move off of ECC and R3. So for that reason, it's inevitable that you're going to have a large customer base of SAP that misses that 2027 deadline. So then the question becomes, what's going to happen to those customers? Will SAP really cut off support and maintenance for those legacy products? Will they extend the timeline? I don't know that there's a good answer for SAP there because they really do want people to get over to the common S4 HANA platform so they can invest all of their R&D in that platform and not have to worry too much about ECC and R3 and they could ultimately sunset those older products. So I understand why SAP wants customers to move over, but I think they're doing it in a compressed time frame that isn't realistic for a lot of larger organizations. So for that reason, let's watch and see what happens with the potential fallout from customers missing that 2027 deadline.